Hi, and welcome to Design Space Friday. This is going to be the last in the series of the window pane card bases. And this one, I'm going to share with you how to add a written sentiment on the inside of the card so that the Cricut actually will um, write your sentiment for you. I picked a sentiment, um, one that uh, is part of a, a cartridge that I have, but you can pick any sentiment that they have um, available because remember, you can just buy images. Um, singly now isn't that cool you don't have to have a cartridge anymore that's the um, beauty of it last week I had you put the openings on the right side it's a right opening card with the um, fold on the left but today we're going to flip that we're going to flip it horizontally and that way it puts these over here you're still going to have a right opening card but this now is the inside and not the outside because we want to put this inside so let's see right now it's 10 you know the width of the card is four and a quarter so let's see what happens when we do it down to four that looks pretty good all right and if we wanted to try to align it we couldn't use the array i'm sorry the align because it would align it based on the full size of the card so let us try positioning this at five and a quarter now let's do it five and a half all right, that puts it in a quarter. And then if we make the width 3.75, there we go. That will give us a quarter of an inch on both sides. And now we want it to be below where the openings are. So let's place it at um, four and three quarters. That looks good. That'll put it a quarter of an inch below. Now you can even go further down if you want, and you could even just eyeball it and not use your grid lines. It's totally up to you how you're going to do that. All right. Now we cannot just leave it like this because the Cricut won't know that this is part of this image. So we want to do a shift and a hold, shift and click, and that way we can attach. So now this is considered by the Cricut as one image. So what will happen is it will stop and ask you to put the pin in and it will ask you if you want to make it a certain color, you can, and we will actually change it to black, even though it doesn't matter because it, it's all dependent on the pin that you put in. Um, but this just makes it easier for you to see. So we will put the um, pin in, it will write, and then it'll stop and ask you to put the score pin in. The score tool so then you put the score tool in it will score and cut you won't stop again because you don't have to switch it out if you have the um, explore air or air 2 um, or just the explore but if you have the explore one remember it's going to ask you to put the blade in at the end um, because you only have the one head instead of the two like we have on the air and the air 2 and the explore so i hope you've enjoyed this series and next week we'll start something new bye